Hi everyone, Namaste. So this Saturday we went snorkeling in the Dimaniyat Island in Oman, and I am sharing this exhilarating experience with all of you. About forty kilometers from Muscat lies a protected nature reserve consisting of an archipelago of nine uninhabited islands located off the coast of Oman in the Arabian Sea. Now, since this is a marine reserve and the access is regulated, you need to book a tour to go to the islands. We booked Sidab tours and we paid about thirty Omani rials, that is six thousand five hundred INR per person. That included a permit, lunch, and snorkeling gear. Now you can take the tour either from Al Muj, that takes about forty-five minutes to reach the islands, or from Marina Bandar, that takes about hour and a half to reach the islands, since it includes dolphin watching. We took the one from Marina Bandar, and that's our boat for the excursion. And one of the co-passengers had a birthday, so the crew arranged a birthday cake for her, which I thought was really sweet. We started at about 8:30 in the morning, and just about 40 minutes into the ride, our captain spotted a pod of dolphins. We were extremely lucky to have spotted two whales, even though I'm not sure what kind of whales they were. But since whale sharks like warm waters, July to late September is considered to be the annual whale shark season in Oman. In another half an hour or so, after spotting the whales, we reached the Dimaniyat Islands and look at that stunning green water. Now these islands are considered as one of the best snorkeling places in the Middle Eastern region. I don't think I can put into words the experience of diving into crystal clear water and experiencing the rich marine life and at one point we also saw a bunch of nesting sea turtles Since this is a nature reserve, the island is closed to public from May to October, as it's the turtle nesting season. You can also camp on the island from November to April, and for that too, you need to take permit from the Ministry of Environment. The tour takes you to two different spots. Now, the first spot is primarily for snorkeling, and once done with it, the boat took us to another island where we were given an hour to soak into the sun, enjoy the beach, and also have a lunch provided by the tour company. It was a simple meal of sandwiches, fruit, some salad, hummus, and some Arabic bread. Just look at this: the water, the view, the sun, the beach. All of it was so comforting that I just couldn't get enough of it, and that one hour just flew by. 
the captain asked all of us to get back onto the boat and it was time to head back to the mainland. On our way back, the captain also showed around the major landmarks along the coastline. And that's the royal palace along with the major ministries in Oman. And according to our captain, that rock formation in the distance looks like the face of an ever smiling Omani man. After six hours of a stimulating, comforting and a tiring experience and a glimpse beneath the wonders of the ocean, it's time to head back home. I will see all of you next time. Bye-bye.